there's people come in to me for a drink and I get talking to them and they'll stay for the night to just to be talking. Well, I think chat is very important. And, you know, you have to make people feel welcome when they come in. You go into a, a pub abroad and they just, they nearly ignore you. You go into a, a pub in Ireland and they go up in your arse to find out who you are. Name, address and creamy number before you nearly get a drink. Other pubs elsewhere, I suppose, they just don't go into conversation. But with an Irish pub, everybody, as soon as you come in, after a while, they'd ask where you're from, what you're doing, or whatever it is about you, you know, sort of thing. You know, you go to England for tea, you go to Ireland for, for the Irish pub. Isn't that what you do? I, I'm just making a quick comparison there. That's what I do. I go to England for tea. Everybody comes to meet in the pub. Everybody, everybody says hello to their friends. Uh, sorry. How are you, Frankie? Great game. Class game. Magic. Oh, Jimmy. Jimmy is one of, one of the top characters in the town. Closet opera singer. A wit. Yeah, yeah. Like it's part of the fabric of the whole place. It wouldn't happen. And if somebody was sitting on my seat, his seat, I'd move them. If they came in politely, of course, but I just... But I think anybody local would automatically get up, get up again, automatically yeah. when Dana would come in. It's like a confession box. Oh, I had to get out of the house. She was doing me head in. I think that's why we are generally a happy nation in spite of all our little economic downturns and the occasional recession. So. I'm keeping the tradition going and I feel I'm only caretaking it for him. So um, I'll caretake it anyway. And I said to him when he died, I said, Dad, I said, the name's over the door now, says I, and it'll be there when I'm going.